realize in yourself that you are responsible, whether you succeed in life or whether you completely screw it up, more often than not, you are responsible for it. It's by your choices, regardless of whatever's happened to you. And this is coming from a guy who came back from the United States, was made homeless, went through all sorts of betrayals and difficulties and struggles, and literally had to rebuild his life over and over and over again. So I can say these things. But literally, I, I think recognizing that, but also realizing that the media is not somewhere that you necessarily want to be placing your attention. I think too many people get so clouded and so caught up by, well, the media says this, and Andrew Tate says that, and so-and-so says this, and so-and-so says that, and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, if it doesn't bring you peace and you're getting yourself in such a tizzy about it, why are you spending your time listening to all of this and, and going on? Most of all, actually, focus on yourself. And I don't mean to say that as, as being very selfish, I was talking to a friend of mine about this last night that said, oh, you know what, well, I only focus on other people. And I'm like, well, who takes care of you? And it stumped him because he was just like, oh, I don't know. And this is someone that's had a history of burnout and a history of depression. And I said, just out of interest, when you were at your most depressed, how burnt out were you? And obviously the answer was very. <laughs> I was like, well, that makes sense. Because if you don't take care of you, A, no one else is going to. But B, you can't take care of anybody else. It's that simple.